Ocean Waves, also known as I Can Hear the Sea, is a very lesser known Studio Ghibli film. During this time of 1993, the studio was thinking, say, you know, we've been having Takahata and Miyazaki making some wonderful movies for us and all, but we really gotta start thinking about the future. I mean, Miyazaki has been talking about retiring for some time, and Takahata isn't getting any younger. We need to get some new fresh blood into here. And so they hired director Tomomi Mochizuki to make this film as sort of an experimentation to see if any of the newer generation could make a film like Castle in the Sky or Grave of the Fireflies. It's a nice idea, however, I feel the studio kind of shafted Tomomi a bit because they didn't really give them that much funds to do this film. They gave them a very short deadline to complete it in, as well as not giving any of the big headwigs to kind of show them the ropes. But after all that adversity, does the film succeed at any level? The story follows the paths of Taku and Rikaku. Quite a love-hate relationship between these two characters? Well, let me kind of explain. Rikaku moved from Tokyo because of family reasons. She is an all-around great student amazing at sports, and downright gorgeous. However, she's very cold and reluctant to make any friends with anybody, boys or girls. Taku is your everyday kind of guy, who gets roped into helping out Rikako when she is in need of some money during a field trip. A rather large sum of money, I might add. Convinced that she would be able to pay him back, he gives her the money only to find out later that she took the money and is using it to fund a trip to go to Tokyo to go visit her father. Furious, he goes to confront her before she heads out, only to get roped along again for the ride to Tokyo, and even ends up rooming with her. Rukako gets to go see her father, only to be reminded why her father and mother broke up in the first place. And the two just kind of go on to their everyday lives after that. Many years later, there's a class reunion, and people start talking about Rikako and what she's been up to. So, big question here. Does Taku and Rikako get together in the end? And the bigger question after that, should they even get together? This, out of all the Studio Ghibli films, is the most drama-oriented. It almost doesn't feel like a Studio Ghibli film because of that fact. So different in the mindset. It was a good movie, kind of, but pretty predictable for the plot. If I had to pin down what kind of film it was, I would have to say it's a chick flick. There are a whole bunch of chick flick cliches that are done rather well, but they're still cliches. If you feel like checking out a film of Studio Ghibli's that is unlike any other Studio Ghibli film, track down and look at Ocean Waves.